When you're water cooling, the temperature of your components doesn't really matter. This sounds counterintuitive, but what really matters is the temperature of your coolant, is the water that flows into the tubes. Here's two examples for you. When I'm gaming, my 7800X3D consumes no power. It produces no heat at all. This means that the radiator is perfectly enough for it. The coolant doesn't get hot, even after a few hours. However, the 3080 Ti, which is 450 watts, the coolant starts climbing from 28 degrees all the way to 40 degrees, slowly after a few hours. The coolant gets hot this means the gpu gets hot this is because the 360 millimeter radiator even though it's enough it's not great it's not the best so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set up external radiator i'm going to take all this shit apart and i'm going to stream it by the way so you can come if you want it this day and eventually i will upgrade to a mora i want a mora yeah now what's a mora you ask it's this thing it's a big ass giant ray. look at this thing it's bigger than the radiator in my car i'm pretty sure hold on is the mora 4600 from heat killer bigger than the radiator in a corolla 2019 hatchback between the mora 4600 and the corolla 2019 hatchback radiator the mora 4600 is bigger in width at 662 millimeters compared to the corolla 2019 hatchbacks estimated 400 to 500 millimeters the length of the mora is 700 millimeters it is big. <laughs> it is bigger. <laughs>